The Third Order Society of St. Francis is a community of men and women within the Episcopal Anglican Church who are called to a dedicated life of service to our Lord through prayer, study, and work. Along the way, we make a commitment to live by a rule of life. We follow St. Francis in lives that are coupled with prayer and action. Out of deep prayer come various sorts of actions. We're all about social justice. We're peacemakers. We deepen our relationships with God. And we strive for economic justice, environmental justice, all of the things of this earth that reflect the creation that Francis loved so much. So why is St. Francis so relevant today, 800 years after his death? Francis saw the face of Christ in everyone he met, bishop or leper, friend or stranger. He stepped into the gap between the rich and the poor. He met with enemies and made peace with them, including a trip to meet the Sultan of Egypt. Francis did all of these things because he believed in the worth of creation, seeing all of it as God's beloved. Francis saw creation as beloved, worthy of dignity. He and we seek to live simply, to be good stewards of this great gift from God, this creation that we live in. We seek to be aware of the needs of others, all of creation, every day. So how does this translate into how we as Franciscans live every day? Well, we have three aims that we keep in mind. The first of them is to make our Lord known and loved everywhere. And, and we're talking everywhere, everywhere we go, and also around the world. We live by a spirit of spreading love and harmony. Love and harmony are the answers to all of the questions that face us in these days and in the days to come. Spreading a spirit of love and harmony directs all that we do. And we live simply. We try to erase distractions and superfluous things so that we can focus on what is good and what is real and what is necessary. If any of this speaks to you, if any of this interests you, we hope you'll reach out to us. We would love to talk to you. As our brother Francis said, peace and all good.